Hi, I'm Mihaila Williams, and I'm here to teach you about something that, according to Dr. William Kelly, is the most important advancement in healthcare since penicillin. Do you know when they discovered penicillin? It was in 1928. It was discovered by bacteriologist Alexander Fleming. In this presentation, you will learn how you can experience greater health and peace of mind regarding your drinking choices. Did you know that what you drink can make you sick or can make you well? You will shortly find out about that and much more exciting information that you have never seen before from our host, Joe Bocuti. He will tell you about his health journey as well. I will be back at the end with some closing remarks. So how did that make you feel? What are you doing today to protect your family from the contaminants in water that are so powerful and so prevalent that it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when the irreversible health consequences will rear their ugly heads. This is my daughter, Aria. She's three years old now. And I know if I had to take her to the doctor for a serious condition that could have been prevented, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. But that's only a small part of what I want to talk to you about today. Now guys, you may be asking yourself, why me? Or does this even apply to me? The scary truth is this applies to everyone, everywhere, regardless of age, gender, or location. And that's why you're here. Now, after we spend some time together, you're going to walk away with information that few are privy to, information that will forever change the way you see many, many things. When it comes to your water, some of you may already think you got it covered. You may be thinking you're already drinking something so-called safe. Maybe you're drinking tap water with or without a filter, bottled water, well water, reverse osmosis water, also known as RO, or maybe you have a whole house filter. Maybe you have some other kind of system or a store-bought pitcher like Brita or Zero Water. Or maybe you just drink soft drink or some kind of juices. The presentation that you're watching is not about a water filter, however. But if you're drinking any of these beverages, I need you to sit up right now and listen more intently than you ever listened before because I'm talking to you. I need you to listen as if it were a matter of life and death, because as you're about to learn, it really is. Whatever you think you know about how to protect yourself from contaminants, not just in water, but it's all changed. It's all gone out the window. But by the end of this presentation, I'm going to teach you exactly what to do, not only to protect your family, but also to give them the best chance for optimal health. That's my promise to you. So stick around. Now, I want you to stay with me all the way to the end because I'm going to reveal three mind-blowing secrets about how the government spends billions of dollars every year to hide shocking facts that affect your health and well-being every single day. I can assure you the days of the government protecting us are gone. Plus, I'm going to share with you a decade of my research that uncovered a hidden step-by-step -step formula on how to make astonishing and instantaneous changes to your health, but at the cellular level. Now, why do you need to see my research? Because the days of counting on our government to help us achieve optimal health are also gone. Now, this may all sound kind of heavy, right? It might sound like a conspiracy theory, but I want you to know it's not. In fact, if you just open your eyes and look around, the writing's already on the wall. In fact, in a December issue of Time Magazine, the cover read, Despite advances in medicine, Americans are less healthy than we used to be. And the next generation may be even worse off. Now, if you have children, I don't know how that makes you feel, but it makes me feel very worried. But how could that happen? How could we get so far advanced in medicine, but be going the wrong direction? How is that possible? Stay with me. I'm going to reveal exactly what's going on. Now, before I ask you to spend time with me today, I want you to tell, I want to tell you my story. It's going to help you understand how I became so passionate about today's topics. We're gonna see some amazing eye-opening videos. We got our producer Dave here running everything and we may or may not have some te te technical difficulties. If you saw what's going on here and what it takes to get us here, it's pretty crazy. But those are all good things. And lastly, all concepts that I present to you today will be proven with live demonstrations.
Sound fair? All right, let's jump right in, guys. I'm Joe. How you doing? I'm the owner and of a wellness company that's helped hundreds of thousands of people lead healthier, safer, and more rewarding lives. You see, years ago, I promised myself that I would spend countless hours a day, no matter what, to find the way to safety, wellness, and maximum health for myself and for my family. In my journey, I stumbled upon a lot of things, but three secrets really stood out that changed everything for me and for my family and also for thousands of others just like us. It's been a crazy and rewarding journey, and I accomplished quite a bit in the last decade. I will say the time I spent early in my career working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory actually shaped some of the technology we're going to talk about today. In fact, it helped me modernize a game-changing Eastern technology, which we're going to be a lot further into in just a few minutes. This technology has helped tens of thousands of people reach the pinnacle of health. Now, I also watched my employees prosper in both health and wealth as we grew to a $50 million company. And 98% of what I'm going to talk about today is what that company's focused on. The growth and success that I've realized that allowed me to start a program called Glass of Hope, which I'm very passionate about. It's, Glass of Hope is designed to help those who are less fortunate and in poor health to get better. Now, you may have seen my technology featured on eHomes of the Future, Traditional Home, and the Discovery Channel, just to name a few. Or maybe you know some of the many celebrities that benefit every single day from this very special and unique technology, like Rick Springfield. I probably know him from uh, General Hospital or from singing Jesse's Girl. Or Terry Fader, Vegas headlining comedian ventriloquist. Or some of the NFL players like Sharice Wright of Buffalo Bills or TJ Ward of the Denver, Denver Broncos. Maybe you even know Tom House. He's a throwing coach for quarterback superstars like Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and Carson Wentz. Some would say I did a lot of things right over the last decade. But guess what? I've also done a lot of things wrong. Remember, despite the secrets I uncovered and the success they led to for me, I'm really no different than you. Really, the only difference between you and I is I had some lucky breaks. And I stumbled across a life-changing product that changed my life and the lives of thousands across the globe. Guys, I'm nothing special. I'm not a health nut, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a stiff. I don't work out every day, as you can probably tell. But I still benefit from optimal health, and so does my family. I'm just a guy who got lucky and through some really hard trials discovered a rock solid blueprint I like to think is perfect health. It's a technology that allows people just like us, just like you and I, everyday men and women to feel like we were meant to feel young, pain free and full of energy. But more importantly, this solution will allow you to take control of protecting our most valuable treasures, our family. Imagine experiencing more health or vitality every single day, every waking hour, finally feeling healthy enough to do all the things that you deserve, being active with your family, your kids, your grandkids, I don't know, taking up activities that you always love, whether it's a cooking class or running a marathon, going on that trip you always dreamed of because now you can finally participate in the excursions or mountain climbing or whatever it is, and being able to sleep at night with a clear mind that you've done everything possible to protect the fragile health of yourself and those closest to you. Guys, I'm going to be covering all the details of all these things in just a moment. Now, these sound like some pretty big promises, right? But I'm going to just ask you to open your mind and suspend any disbelief just for a little while, at least until you have all the facts. Fair? You see, the shocking truth is, whether you want to believe it or not right now, you've been lied to when it comes to how to stay healthy and prevent life-threatening diseases from becoming an issue in the first place. And those lies have all but destroyed your chances of really protecting your family and living the happy life of perfect health and wellness that we all deserve. Now, during this event, I'm gonna be throwing so much valuable information at you so fast, you may wind up feeling a lot like this girl right here. She's got it coming at her pretty strong, right? But let's just dig in right now and see how we got here in the first place. Now, guys, before we go any further, though, I think it's only fair that I level with you. I need to tell you a story. You'll see why I was reluctant to even tell you this story in just a minute, but stay with me. Deal? All right. So I wasn't always the guy with this cool technology that a world-renowned doctor is calling the greatest discovery since penicillin. I'm very proud of that. In fact, I was anything but. I was actually far from it. Let's take a quick trip back in time to see where it all began. It was December 1987. That's me right there. And it was really cold that winter, but the fireplace was always on, even if it wasn't cold because of my condition, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. My two cousins were over, they're twins, Jeff and Greg, 
And so is my friend John from around the corner. And you can see I have a, a, a sweatshirt on. No matter what size sweatshirt I had on, I always think it never fit me because I was so skinny. And you can see one of my hands is actually out of my sleeve, probably holding my stomach because of how bad my stomach always hurt me. I was always skinny. I was always holding my stomach. But because for most of my life, I struggled with a problem. And my parents drug me all over to traditional doctors to try to fix it. Different drug doctors tried everything. Some said, you gotta be a vegetarian. You gotta drink weight gain or like ensure. You gotta have more vitamins. Most of these things made my condition 10 times worse. Maybe even more than that. So bad in fact that my senior year in high school, I missed 87 days from all the time I missed, from the pain I was in. Years went by, but I still had problems every single day. Now, let's fast forward a little bit. And I'll tell you about when I hit rock bottom. See, guys, my desire to help people led me to do wellness seminars all over the country. I did them all over the country. And one really cold day on a Friday afternoon, I was in a large room with about 1,200 people. Now, when I do these seminars, they're all focused on me. It's kind of like right now, but they're all in the room. They're hanging on to every word I say. Picture this. There's music. There's my words. Besides that, it's quiet. Now, all of a sudden, during the quiet, I'm telling them to focus, my stomach starts gurgling, right? My stomach starts acting up. Well, I start sweating, guess what? I gotta get out of the room. What would you do? What could I do, right? So I say, all right, everybody close your eyes and just start thinking about, you know, whatever. I don't even remember exactly what the seminar is. All I remember is this stuff about it. I said, close your eyes, start thinking about whatever that topic was at the moment. I'm thinking to myself, I'm just going to try to work my way out of here without anyone noticing. Everybody close your eyes. Don't open your eyes. Close your eyes. So I go to those big, heavy doors. You know, the ones with the handle you push says like, I don't know, something about the fire alarm or something like that. I'm like trying to worry about the fire alarm, everything off. I hit the big door. I'm trying to push it open real slow. I'm looking back to see like if anybody sees me sneaking out. There's one lady in a purple dress. She opens her eyes and she's like, where are you going? I'm like. So I mute my microphone off the, all my way down the hall to the bathroom. I'm gone five, six minutes. I'm like, no sweat. I'll get back in there. We'll be good to go. I'll pick right up where I left off. But you won't believe what happened next. Maybe you can guess. I came back in. And everyone's eyes were open. They're all up. They're all walking around. The lights are on. And I look like a complete fool. I look like I had abandoned everyone. No one understood it. There was no time to explain it. It was me hitting rock bottom. It was then I realized I could no longer do what I love because of my condition. I had to give up my passion, something I feel like I was born to do because my body would not cooperate, guys. Rock bottom. I believe that the pain I felt was just part of my life then, that proverbial tight shoes I had on. I just gave up. I said, this is it. This is the way it is now. Here was, was this horrible condition that made me give up what I believe I was meant to do. And again, maybe some of you can relate. Maybe some of you have illness or pain or can't sleep or have low energy, whatever it is. Long story short, I took a noble job to fill out the inquire. And it was fine. I spent every day trying to deal with my new reality. Now, I still kept an email address from my wellness seminar days. And I got an email. And guess who that email was from? It was the lady in the purple dress. And she said, oh, I, I haven't stopped thinking about you. We need to talk. She said, your doctors are a world away from fixing what's wrong with you. Now, I said, okay, but can you tell me more? And she said, look, you got to think about the difference between Asian medicine, Eastern medicine, and Western medicine. She said, Asian people believe that we should be born healthy, and it's, our, it's, our, it's up to us to mess that up, right? Western medicine believes we should eat, drink, and be merry, right? Do whatever we want to do. This made sense, right? So I was intrigued to say the least. But I asked her, what does this have to do with me? And that's when she introduced me to an Asian medical technology. Now, this technology was little known. It was a little known medical device with huge potential that at that point was only scarcely available to people like movie stars, athletes, and millionaires. She told me this technology was the most amazing medical breakthrough discovery that she'd ever come across. Now, remember, guys, at that point, I've already been pitched on every solution. From vegetarian diets to every pill, miracle shake under the sun. So I was intrigued. But I said, prove it. Now, she told me the only way that she could prove it is if I was willing to go to South Korea. I said, South Korea? She said, look, you got to go there. I'm telling you, you have to try this. So after a lot of consideration, I finally decided to bite the bullet. And I found myself in South Korea using this amazing technology for 27 days. 
And while I began feeling better almost immediately, it was on the 27th day when my proverbial tight shoes finally came off. I remember I was on my hotel balcony overlooking the Sea of Japan when I realized for the first time in over 20 years what fantastic felt like. Guys, I was drowning. She literally threw me a life preserver. The technology she introduced me to is what saved my life. You won't believe what it is or how it works or how simple it is, but I'll get there in a minute. So what was wrong with me anyway, right? What was wrong with me? To this day, no one can say for sure, but multiple doctors and one scientist in South Korea concluded that I have symptoms of long-term poisoning caused most likely from harmful chemicals like arsenic, herbicides, pesticides, insecticides that are all often found in our fruits and vegetables and in our EPA approved drinking water. Avoiding these contaminants seemed like an easy fix, right? But my body was so far gone that I needed something much more complex and revolutionary to help my body find its way back to optimal health. You see, it was only when someone looked at my problem with a different philosophy that I gained complete and total relief. I now feel better than ever, and I feel like I can continue to help spread the word to help millions more who are suffering and can't find a solution. See, I personally hit a turning point. And thanks to that turning point, I uncovered a secret, and it's one that works for just about anyone to improve just about any condition, and it works every time. Now, my problem was this technology was only available in Asia back then, and I was going to have to innovate and modernize the technology and then bring it to the United States. Thanks again to NASA for everything I learned there, right? Now, I hope you were intrigued by this, as intrigued as I was at the time, but I'm going to introduce this technology to you in just a few minutes to save you the hassles and years of effort it took me to find this life-saving solution. So keep watching. Guys, as hugely important as this medical device is, it's actually what this device produces that's the true game changer. The device's proprietary process produces a liquid which is full of health-giving properties. Better yet, my revolutionary medical device actually produces an unlimited supply of the liquid, which I'm storing right here in this bottle. Well, studies show the contents of this bottle actually hold the key to perfect health and wellness. So what's in this bottle? Well, before I tell you what it is, let me tell you what it's not. It's not an MLM miracle juice. It's not a smoothie, a vitamin shake, a fad cleanse, a diet drink, or some sugary sports concoction. I can promise you it's not something you've ever seen before. In fact, you're not here to learn just about what's in this bottle, but more importantly about a cutting edge medical device that can produce unlimited quantities of what's in here at the touch of a button and without delay. It's something that can turn Olympic athletes into gold medalists, something that can have Olympic athletes push themselves to run faster or skate faster or jump higher or get them from silver to gold. After a week of trying this, could not believe the difference I felt after the extreme efforts of training and effort. That's from Clara Hughes, guys. She's a five-time Olympic medalist, 2006 gold medal winner in speed skating. This is something that writers use to stay focused and have more energy. It's something that specialty doctors recommend to their patients with countless ailments. I've been drinking this beverage and it confirms the research I've come across. I now recommend it to friends, family, as well as clients. That's from Dr. Lori Shemick, author, writer, and weight loss <clears throat> expert. And what if it had over 600 clinical studies that until this year were so buried, the chances of ever locating them was very unlikely. Let me ask this question. Where exactly inside the body do major health changes happen? Well, Experts agree that for effective and long-lasting changes to happen in the body, they must occur at the cellular level. Now, I knew from my personal experience that what's in this bottle did, in fact, provide effective, long-lasting change for me. So it made sense that it was happening at the cellular level. But as my father always told me, an idea is only as good as the proof you have to back it up. So in order to obtain proof, I took what's in this bottle to Dr. Gus Barathkis in Chicago, Illinois. And I asked him if he could disprove what I believe to be true, that my product had a positive, life-changing, and almost instantaneous effect at the cellular level. Here's the results of that study. Take a look.
Hi, I'm Dr. Gus at uh, Advanced Health and Wellness Centers. We have a wellness uh, clinic where we see people with chronic health conditions uh, most of the time. So today, um, I, I would like to take an attempt to demonstrate um, a little bit about what we're talking about. And we're going to take a, a, a patient here, um, a good friend of ours, Sue, who really has never gone through our clinic. So this is really good because she's utilized her own methods for health and uh, uh, not really partaken in any um, concepts we've done. So we, it'll be a nice, pure supply of blood to see um, you know, her level of health at this point. I consider myself to be a very healthy person. I do intense yoga three times a week, sometimes four. I eat healthy, all organics, grass-fed meats, um, and just keep very busy. So I expect that my blood work is going to come out just fine today. Uh, one of the things we're seeing here is that, um, the, you know, the whole screen, when you take a snapshot, and you see around 700 red blood cells to a white blood cell. You're a little short on your red blood cell count. You're definitely having no movement at all. Very little motion. There was a little sunlight in the beginning. Um, now, obviously, outside the body, it's going to react a little different. The other thing I'm seeing is there is not a lot of white glow in the cells. And I'm going to change the phase so we're able to see better. Uh, but right here, the membrane is collapsing and breaking. And I could see it in several ones. It'll show better on this, on this next screen. Uh, there isn't uniformity. Some seem bigger than others, you know. Uh, you know, it's bigger and that's a little smaller and smaller. Uh, the other thing is the membrane is jaggedy, which is it's unhealthy versus nice and round. We're seeing a lot of debris and things that shouldn't be in there. Okay. And and definitely no energy in your cells. Don't do that. that white glow is not in there. And, uh, you know, we can scan. I mean, this has been outside your body now for uh, three, four minutes. Uh, but uh, the, the, the white glow should be in some of your cells. And uh, we're seeing nothing. I was shocked to see my first blood analysis. Uh, my blood basically wasn't moving at all. It was very, very shocking. Okay, now um, uh, we're going to do the second test. You could drink that bottle of water. It's been roughly five minutes. Okay, so we're going to go through the same process. I'm going to get the same finger in a different spot. And we're going to look under the microscope and see if we have any changes. So I expect your body to change quickly because of so many good things you do. But being dehydrated, you see you clump up. Mm -hmm. um, but you got movement to start Under happening yeah. from just putting water in. Yeah. And, and in our opinion, without the charge, it's not going to do as good of a job. But we'll see in the next following test. Okay. But you will see that, um, you see, you got some more movement um, now. So hydration, key, key to your health. Uh, being out of the body, obviously, uh, it's not going to be as happy as in the body. But uh, at the same time, it, it, it should have this continuous waterfall type of flow. I mean, over a minute. And then, you know, as time subsides, it, it, it should just go into the steady flow, like what you're seeing, for it can be hours. After drinking um, bottled water, it did improve the flow a little bit, but then there was clumping of my red blood cells, which uh, was a bit unsettling. System, roughly five minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see how much more the hydration works. See, the body has this untapped potential to really change quickly when you do the right things. Yeah. Universally, everybody needs water and oxygen as a starting point in order to, you know, recover their, their health and balance their body. So, you know, if we were to go to the other screen, now we see a ton of white yeah. and movement. And uh, what a difference. What a difference 10 minutes makes. Yeah. After seeing these three blood analysis tests come back today, I am very convinced that, that it is a beneficial thing that I need in my life.
So guys, what'd you think of that? I just want to really hit that home for a second. What you saw right there was a live mutation of somebody's cells almost instantly after drinking what's in this bottle. What do you think the first thing you're going to notice is? How do you think you're going to feel after you take the first sip and your cells come to life and light up and start moving like that? Think about that for a moment. Now, it's all going to make perfect sense to you in a, in a few minutes. If, if that's a little bit confusing or you feel like, oh, what did I just see? I'll make sure I you know, kind of make it a little more clear for you. But once it clicks for you, your health challenges now and the future are over. You see, my device is the only medical device that's approved for wellness that can create what I have in this bottle. And the wellness solution I have is guaranteed to maximize your body's ability to prevent or reverse life-threatening ailments so you feel healthier and more alive than ever before without pills, gimmicks, or changes in your daily routine. Guys, remember when we first started, I told you the writings on the wall? Well, the hard reality is we're all in the middle of a healthcare crisis. But here's the thing, guys. It's worse than you think. Where do you think Americans rank with regard to health among top developed countries? Guess what? We're dead last. Americans suffer more deaths from cancer, heart disease, lung disease, obesity, and diabetes, just to name a few, more mental health problems and diseases than any other country. But why? See, guys, the human body was designed to heal itself. Your body is a consequence machine. Your body was designed to heal itself. When was the last time you cut your finger and it didn't heal? Never, right? But that suggests that the quality of what you put into your body has a direct effect on the quality you're going to get from your body. Guys, if we're putting in French fries and Big Macs every day and we're smoking, right, we're putting that into our body, what do you expect you're going to get back from your body? Here's an example. Look at this guy. Yannick Besson, Canadian film actor from the Murdoch Mysteries. He says, since drinking this for six month, months, everybody keeps asking me, what are you doing differently? You're like an alien who never ages. And I tell them, it's all my beverage. Guys, this guy already looks better than George Clooney, right? Now they're saying he looks like he's getting younger. What's he doing differently? He's putting something different in his body, so he's getting more from his body. Plus, guys, the results are instantaneous, just like you saw in that blood video, right? Once they drink it, a few minutes later, things start happening. It's not like these fads you see on TV. Oh, wait, you know, 10 years and you'll feel great. No, it's not like that. It's almost instantaneous. And I'm going to show you how to get the same great results just by pressing a button. Now, maybe you think you've tried everything when it comes to health. Maybe you think that uh, protecting your family is all figured out already. I know I, th I thought I had it all figured out myself. I said, I'm good. I'm good. I'm already doing everything right. I got filters. I'm good to go, right? Everything's covered. Lock my doors. Tuck my kids in and everything's fine. But I can guarantee you've never seen anything like what I'm about to reveal to you today. Guys, my three secret tips are coming up next. And secret tip number three in particular will totally shock you. It's my absolute favorite near the end. So keep watching. You see, I'm about to reveal an approach to perfect health and wellness that's totally unique, surprisingly simple, and works for anyone at any age. Look at this stuff, right? Coco Crispy says on the front, now helps support your child's immunity. What does that even mean? You're better off eating the box than you are eating what's inside the box. Big farmers up there at the top. Doctors can't see what they want to see, hear what they want to see, or say what they want to say. Cheerios may reduce your cholesterol. Again, better off eating the box, guys. The lobbyists allow so many things to happen. Your children, every time they turn on a screen, TV, laptop, iPad, there's some advertisement there about McDonald's two for five. Now, maybe I know you guys like to act like you don't ever eat McDonald's, right? When people aren't looking, I know you sneak out the drive through and, hey, I'll supersize it. Give me two of them Big Macs, right? I know. We all, we all fall off sometimes. But guys, I'm telling you, it's like, you're like brainwashed by it. It's everywhere. And it's done by design. It's done by construction. You really didn't have a chance. All the odds are really stacked against you. Even the EPA has decided there's an acceptable level of hundreds of different contaminants in your drinking water and even in bottled water. Let me say it again. Acceptable levels? 
I don't know about you, but for me and my family, there are no acceptable levels. Guys, what you're looking at right now is directly off the EPA website. I want you to understand what you're looking at here. So let me explain. What you see in gray is the amount of acceptable levels of each contaminant from the FDA. At the very top, fecal coliform is acceptable. That's poop. There's poop in your water. EPA says it's fine. Trihalomethanes, increased risk of cancer. Chlora, chlora, uh, chlorine, di chlorine dioxide, that causes anemia, nervous system effects. Barium, increased blood pressure. Cadmium, kidney damage, fluoride, bone disease, nitrates, blue baby syndrome, death, benzene, benzene cancer. Guys, this is what the EPA, the government, EPA, Environmental Protection Agency says, it's okay. Poop in the water, it's okay. As long as it's not that much. I don't know about you guys, but it's not okay with me. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people try very hard to make sure you don't know about. In fact, it would take me days, not hours, to go through all those things. But right now, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be three life-critical, life-critical secrets. If you get nothing else from, from this presentation, make sure you walk away with a full understanding of secret number three. It's going to make all the difference. Secret number one. The number one mistake people make when it comes to their health and why you must avoid this at all costs in order to achieve energy, true wellness, and feel alive. Secret number two, I'll reveal the deadly recipe that the government has been serving up on your family's table every single day. And number three, again, hugely important, guys, a special and powerful element that my product creates and why it is likely the most, discover most important discovery since penicillin. Those are somebody else's words, not mine. But these are exactly the same tips and tactics that countless thousands have used to see massive success in reaching the pinnacle of health and protecting their family. When a doctor said to me that, that what I discovered or what I helped bring to the United States is more important than the discovery of penicillin, I was blown away. But he explained it to me, and I'm going to explain it to you in just a little while here. But first, I want to warn you. I want to warn you to avoid people who are trying to help you but they've been brainwashed, right? They're naive to think that drugs and pills are the answer. Look at how many people are killed by prescription drugs every single year. Maybe that's why Harvard University confirmed that prescription drugs are ranked fourth in the United States as the leading cause of death. So wait a second. The prescription drugs that my doctor prescribes to my family to make them better is actually the fourth leading cause of death in the United States? That's right. It's like hard to fathom, right? Now, you may believe that uh, listing these helpful people is a good thing, but nothing could be further from the truth. Here's what the truth really is. I want you to get your health back in a way that is safer, more effective, and costs less time and money. I want you to protect your family from invisible threats that you don't even know are getting closer every day to ruining everything for you. Maybe you know somebody. Maybe you already got a phone call like that. Somebody calls you up and says, oh, so-and-so has this, or so-and-so has cancer, or so-and-so has that. Everything just stops for those people. They never even see it coming. If they knew it was coming, they would have done something differently, right? Just imagine what your life would be like when you take this action starting today. It's the simplest thing you could possibly do, and the results are truly staggering. You'll go to sleep every night with peace of mind. And you'll wake up every morning feeling amazing, energized, and ready to take on the day, whatever that may bring. Many people believe you have to force yourself to reach perfect health. But guess what, guys? That's a lie, too. Although there is a hard way to do just about anything, I'll give you that. In fact, I discovered the hard way to reach perfect health. You get to cheat and do it the easy way. But here is the hard way if you want it. Count on your body to take care of itself without help. Try every magic pill under the sun. Adopt an I'll be fine attitude. And pray and promise that you'll do anything to make this thing go away whenever it hits you. Guys, stay with me here, and I'm going to show you the easy way. Easy way to do what, Joe? The easy way to, to do what exactly? The easy way to a better life. Isn't that what we're all chasing anyway? Now, remember, I'm going to be sharing my most important life-changing secret last, so stay with me. Secret number one, they try to direct your attention away from pH. This is a pH chart. In the middle, you see the number seven, that's neutral. Everything to the left is acidic. Everything to the left 
is sickness. Everything to the left is anger and worry and stress and aging. Look at the things that are acidic. Coffee, processed foods, soda, reverse osmosis water, beer. These are not good things for you. To the right of the number seven is alkaline. It's health. It's raw alkaline foods, happiness, exercise, strength, and youth. It's all the things that you know your body craves. Guys, the problem is that 80% of groceries are acidic and addictive. Fast food, blueberries, canned fruits, milk, peanut butter, eggs, bread, cashews, bacon, lobster, lunch meat, pork, salmon, sardines, sausage, tuna, turkey, veal. They're all acidic. They're all addictive. But what else are you supposed to eat at the grocery store, right? Guys, food matters. But your body's 60% liquid. Now, remember I told you your body's a consequence machine? Well, this matters more than ever when it comes to the type of liquid you're putting in your body. And here's why. Consuming acidic foods and beverages drains the alkaline minerals our body craves, decreases, decreases in calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. That equals acidosis, sickness, and aging. I'm going to do a little pH demonstration for you right now. And I'm going to show you some of the common things that you may be drinking. And you may be surprised to figure out where they fall on the pH scale. Let's take a look. All right, guys, here we go. Live television. Let's see if I don't mess this up. Got my mystery beverage here. What I have here are some pH drops. Guys, what all these do is tell you where each one of these beverages fall on the pH scale. I'm just gonna run through them as fast as possible here and give you guys a sense about what's in them. You can start taking some guesses. The Aquafina, do you think it's gonna be acidic or alkaline? Let's see what happens. I hope you guys can see these colors, but that's orange, guys. That's way down like a number four. This is stuff most of you guys are paying to drink. Doesn't make any sense. I'll tell you what, I'll pour them all out here first. And then we'll test them real quick. Here we go. Sprite. Any Sprite drinkers out there? Let's see. Gatorade, low calorie, thirst quencher. It says it's good for you guys. Let's see. Vitamin water. This stuff's supposed to be really good for you. Vitamin C, B5, B6. Beware. Let's see. And then we got the mystery beverage. Let's see what we got in here. It'd be funny if a snake jumped out, right? I was gonna do it, but all right, let's see. We got some mystery beverage here. Here we go. Next one. Sickness or health, guys. Sprite, even worse. Guys, the P scale is a logarithmic scale. It's the same scale they measure earthquakes on. That means when you go from a seven to a six, it's 10 times more uh, acidic. From a six to a fives, uh, ten, it's 10 times, then 100 times, then to a four is 1,000 times, to a three is 10,000 times, to a two is 100,000 times more. So Sprite is actually 10,000 times more acidic than water than, than the bottled water here. Gatorade, horrible guys. This stuff will take the paint off your car. Vitamin water, horrible. You know what I want to do too? Take a little bit of the tap water from here. Put the tap water over here. Slide these down. Tap water, a little bit better, guys, but still in the acid side. Now for the mystery beverage. Guys, the best we can get is somewhere on the high alkaline side. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Look at that. Where's that fall on the pH scale? Guys, that's just health. That's just alkalinity. A lot of people try to direct your attention away from pH. Don't worry about pH. Don't care about pH. Don't listen to them, guys, because they don't understand or they know better and they don't care. So that's a little bit of a pH test, guys. Maybe some of you are drinking some of these beverages. Maybe you're not. But either way, 
If you are, what I would do is take them all and drop them right in the trash. Except for this one. So there you go. Look at that. We got through one demo. We didn't let anything on fire. All right. So that's the pH demo. Now you've seen how many beverages are acidic. And I want to just tell you why that, why that matters, right? I want to take kind of a look inside your body here and tell you what's happening and why you should care about pH from someone that understands it. You, inside of your body, if you were to look inside, you got your stomach, you got your pancreas, you got your duodenum, you got your spleen, right? Well, we're going to talk about your stomach. Your stomach's lined with gastric glands that secrete hydrochloric acid. It's called HCL. It's a pH of about 1.2. Now, why do we have acid in our stomachs? People think that we have acid in our stomach all day long. We don't. If we had acid in our stomach at 1.2 all day long, we have big ulcers in our stomach, right? We only have acid in our stomach when we put food in it. It comes to the rescue to break down the food. It turns food into something called chyme. Chyme is just like breaking it down to kind of a chunky mis mixture. Then there's something called the pyloric valve. The pyloric valve controls the movement of the chyme into the small intestine. Now, inside the small intestine, something called villi. Villi are like little fingers inside the duodenum that pull it in. But the villi will not touch the chyme because it's too acidic. So what it does is says, yo, pancreas. Need some help down here. And your pancreas gives them some pancreatic juice, which is about 8.1. And it brings up the pH in your stomach. Then it goes down through the villi, down through the duodenum, into the liver, and that's where it's stored. Now, guys, your liver is the key to everything. The liver is busy making 500 million new cells every night. Every night. Now, there's differences here, right? Your small intestine takes 36 hours to rejuvenate. Every cell type has a lifespan. Your white blood cells take 13 days to rejuvenate. Your red blood cells take 120 days to rejuvenate. Your liver cells take 500 days to rejuvenate. Think about that next time you go out drinking to the bar. 500 days for your liver cells to rejuvenate. Your nerve cells could take up to 100 years. Now, you know that's true already. You ever cut yourself real deep cut on your finger or real deep cut somewhere? Never feels the same, right? Always feels like there's something wrong there because it takes 100 years for your body to rejuvenate nerve cells. Fascinating. Now, medical science has discovered that as we age, we lose alkaline minerals in our body and we need alkaline minerals in our body. Take a look at this chart. This chart shows on the left the amount of HCO3 uh, which is bicarbonate, which is kind of alkaline minerals that we make as we age. The bottom are the numbers that as we get older, look at around just after 40, how the calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium falls off. Guys, when that all starts to fall off, your body still needs it. Why? Because calcium makes your bones strong. Mag low magnesium causes heart attacks, right? If you ever see someone with heart disease, they usually have low magnesium. So what happens is if you're putting stuff in your body that's acidic, your body's going to find a way to get calcium. It's going to go to your bones and pull calcium from your bones. It's going to pull calcium from your teeth. It's going to pull magnesium from your bones. And it's going to steal it from where it really needs to be. That's why it's so bad to be eating acidic foods. And most importantly, acidic beverages because your body's 60% water. Guys, your body's like a fishbowl, right? We have fish at my house. My daughter's three years old. She thinks all the fish are from Finding Nemo, right? She thinks one's Nemo, one's Dory, whatever it is. But sometimes I'm like busy and I don't change the fishbowl for a while. And what happens is it starts to look like this, right? Why is that? It's because the fish are pooping in the water, right? And they're just like breathing carbon dioxide. It's just like poop and carbon dioxide just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Finally, it's just like there's one fish floating upside down. I got to like distract her when she goes to school and like get a new one and be like, oh, the fish is back to life or whatever. That's besides the point. Why did it die in the first place, right? If you, if you, if you, Body has bad water. If your fish are sick, what do you do, guys? If you have fish that are sick, what do you do? What do you change? Change the water, right? You change the water. Guys, think about stagnant water for a moment. It's just standing water versus a flowing stream. Like flowing streams like health, right? You saw the blood video we showed you. When the, the blood was just all stagnant and all clunky and just sitting there, it's like stagnant water. There's no movement. There's no health. Then they drank the mystery beverage, and all of a sudden, everything starts flowing, guys. Everything in nature, everything that moves is healthy. We want to get those cells moving. We want to get those cells back to life. We want to make changes at a cellular level, guys. It's important. 
Now, why is it important? Well, there's symptoms of acidosis, guys. From headache to sleeplessness to confusion, loss of consciousness, muscular seizures, weakness, intestinal, you got diarrhea, respiratory, you got shortness of breath, coughing, heart issues, gastric issues, nausea, vomiting. These are bad things. These are things that may be wrong with you now. You're just like, I didn't know that's why it was wrong with me, right? But authors have been writing books about this stuff on pH and health for years. The problem, the reason nobody reads them because they all have stupid names, right? Alkalize or die. It's like you can't give that to somebody for their birthday. Oh, I got alkalize or die. I'm going to read this. Like, I don't know why they name them what they do, but these are fascinating books, guys. If you do a simple search on Amazon, it'll show more than 400 books written on the subject of pH and health. These are well-respected healthcare professionals, and they've all come to the conclusion that pH matters. Secret number two, the deadly recipe that the government has been serving up on your family's table every single day. What is it? Well, many of us have a recipe book for things that have been handed down through our family. But has anyone ever thought about the recipe for this? Just a glass of water. Now, we've all been taught that water is supposed to be made up of two H's and one O. But unfortunately, that's almost never the case. There's a lot more ingredients in your water, many of which you don't want there. Have you ever considered that you may be drinking water for sickness instead of water for wellness? I mean, it kind of summarizes up and maybe oversimplifies it, but when you take a step back from it, that's really the question. Now, sadly, most American families have never even considered there's a difference between water for wellness and water for sickness. As a result, they often drink, bathe, and wash in extremely harmful contaminants. Remember when we talked about how Americans rank dead last with regard to health among top countries? Well, here's the three main reasons why. Number one, most Americans have a poor diet and poor exercise habits. Most are drinking water or other beverages that are dead, acidic, or even toxic. Even Americans who consider themselves health conscious drink unhealthy water that's really dehydrated. Guys, the fact is 75% of Americans are already chronically dehydrated. Why is maintaining our hydration levels at 100% so important? Well, for every 1% dehydrated you are, you lose 5% of your energy. And sadly, most Americans are walking around 3 to 4% dehydrated. You ever feel like you have 20% less energy you're supposed to? Now you know why. But what can chronic dehydration lead to? Well, yeah, we said fatigue, but it can get worse. Have any muscle or joint pain, respiratory problems, headaches, ulcers, weight gain, high blood pressure, kidney disease, gallstones, kidney stones. The list goes on, guys. You probably started to realize now that the water is pretty important. The water you drink. Sounds like common sense, but here are the facts. The average adult body is 55 to 60% water. The average adult body contains 10 to 13 gallons of water and two thirds of the body, I'm sorry, two thirds of your body's water is held inside 37.2 trillion cells. But as big of a role as water can play in reaching the pinnacle of health, it can also play just as big of a role in reaching the pinnacle of sickness. Now, maybe you remember early on in the presentation, I said to you, if you're drinking any of these beverages listed here, you need to listen carefully because like I told you before, you've been lied to. I'm going to take a few minutes right now and go through each one of these listed here to shine some truth on a very, very important subject. So is your tap water safe, guys? Do you think your tap water is safe? What do you think? Absolutely not. In the U.S., out of 60,000 chemicals that are in use, the Environmental Protection Agency regulates only 91. There's over 2,100 unregulated chemical toxins that have been found in tap water. Arsenic, pesticides, nitrates, hormones, calcium, lead, pharmaceutical drugs, aluminum, trihalomethanes. The list goes on, guys. Take a look.
More than 18 million Americans are getting their drinking water from systems that have violated federal lead rules. Not only does the EPA know about it, they've done almost nothing to enforce their own regulations, according to multiple industry experts. I think that the public needs to be told the truth about contamination in their water supply. More than 5,000 water systems are in violation, including failure to properly test water, failure to report contamination, and failure to treat water properly, according to a new analysis by the Natural Resources Defense Council, or NRDC. In nine out of 10 cases, the EPA took no enforcement action when water systems violated the lead and copper rule, the federal regulation meant to keep America's tap water safe from lead. Imagine a cop sitting, watching people run stop signs and speed at 90 miles an hour through small communities and doing absolutely nothing about it. That's unfortunately what we have now. Eric Olson is among the experts, saying water utilities are routinely gaming the system, using incorrect testing methods to avoid detecting high levels of lead. What that means is there are even more water systems with lead issues that aren't officially in violation. They don't care if they're violating the law. They don't feel like they're going to face any penalties. Philadelphia is one city accused of gaming the system. In 2014, city officials sent residents questionable instructions for testing, telling them to pre-flush their water and remove aerators, which often trap particles of lead. Experts say both techniques would make lead levels appear lower than they actually are. In fact, the EPA instructed as far back as 2007 that they should not remove or clean aerators. I was concerned I wanted to test my home's water. Jonathan King's 18-month-old daughter has been drinking Philadelphia's water from the tap since she was born. He's organizing a group of homeowners to get independent answers because he doesn't trust the way the city conducted its testing. It concerns me that they're not using the best practices available. It concerns me that they're not following the latest EPA regulations. So why doesn't the EPA enforce its own rules? Multiple sources and industry experts tell CNN it comes down to two key reasons. Water isn't a main priority for the EPA because its resources are stretched thin, and the EPA has a cozy relationship with the water systems it's supposed to regulate. They're friends, they hang out with each other, they ask for each other's advice, um, and you get close after a while. So should citizens be worried? Citizens should be very concerned. When Alan Morrissey retired last year from his job as an EPA Water Department enforcement officer, he said he was frustrated because blatant violations would go without punishment. Morrissey says even EPA employees don't trust what comes out of their tap. So most of my colleagues have all chosen to install a water filter underneath our kitchen sink. But you're saying that people who work at the EPA are buying water filters because they aren't confident in the quality of their tap water? Yes. What do you guys think about that? Here's a quick recap of what you just watched. First of all, 5,300 U.S. water systems are now, right now, in violation of lead rules. Over 18 million Americans are exposed to lead poisoning without even knowing it. And that was a retired EPA officer that admits we have a national water crisis. What are you doing about it? You got a Brita pitcher? You got a RO system? Not going to cut it, guys. So what else is in tap water? Well, you got arsenic, which is a very toxic heavy metal, and a Category 1 carcinogen. Pharmaceutical drugs, pesticides, insecticides, trihalomethanes, which is a thousand times more toxic than chlorine. You got chemicals such as PFOAs, PF. Uh, PFOS and phthalates. Phthalates mimic the ho female hormone estrogen. Over 2,100 unregulated toxins. That means nobody's watching the hen house, guys, or, or maybe the foxes, but they're unregulated. It means they're looking the other way. Yeah, yeah, we know they're there. The EPA knows everything. Here's the interesting part. Anytime you use any kind of a chemical for manufacturing, you have to register it with the EPA. That means they know it's all there. So why are 2,100 of them not regulated? Lobbyist, money, government, EPA's government, guys. Lots of money to be made at your expense. But wait, there's more, right? You got fluoride. It's classified as a class four hazardous waste by the EPA. Guess where they put it? 
They needed water. They added uh, fluoride to our tap water without our consent. It's more toxic than lead and nearly as poisonous as arsenic. So toxic that most countries have banned it. Fluoride is directly linked to cancer, thyroid problems, osteoporosis, and can actually cause tooth decay. It can actually cause tooth decay. Fluoride can actually cause tooth decay. Dr. Albert Schatz says fluoridization is the greatest fraud ever perpetrated on more people than any other fraud. Only about 5% of the world's population uses fluoride and more than 50% of them live in North America. Maximum contaminant levels for arsenic is five parts per billion. For lead, it's 15 parts per billion. For fluoride, it's 4,000 parts per billion. The greatest crippler of modern times though is coming up next. But guys, before I go to the next thing here, Fluoride. Do you ever read like a, a toothpaste bottle or toothpaste tube? It says right on it. If you ingest or swallow more than for brushing, go to the hospital, like go, like grab a toothpaste tube. It says like call poison control, active ingredient, fluoride. What's in your water? Fluoride. You think you're ingesting more than, more, uh, than is uh, uh, needed for brushing when you're drinking it? Probably. But there's one, there's a few that are even worse. The greatest crippler and killer of modern times. And we have a guess. Simply stated, chlorine is a pesticide with the sole purpose of killing living organisms. Simply touching or consuming water with chlorine kills some part of us and destroys our cells and our tissue. According to the EPA, Americans consume 300 to 600 times the amount of chlorine that's considered to be safe to ingest or inhale. Guys, the risk of developing cancer is 93% higher in people who drink or are exposed to chlorinated water. Medical studies link chlorine to cancer, heart, colon, lung, and other respiratory diseases. Dr. Robert Carlson, the University of Minnesota, sums it up by saying, chlorine is the greatest crippler and killer of modern times. Now, billions of people think that these are healthier choices. But are they? The dangers of reverse osmosis water? Guys, I mean, the list goes on. First of all, it's devoid of minerals. It causes bone density issues because your bones have to, your body has to leach the calcium out of your bones to maintain the levels it needs. It's acidic, guaranteed. Some RO systems don't even remove chlorine or VOCs, which are volatile organic chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and other chemicals. That's RO. Again, guys, is RO water safe? What do you guys think? Absolutely not. RO water, also known as demineralized water, it's really just mostly in bottled water, is one of the most dangerous waters you can drink long term. Guys, the World Health Organization has issued a warning that reverse osmosis water has a definite adverse influence on the animal and human organism. That's from the World Health Organization, guys. RO produces dead water that is unstable and seeks to stabilize itself by leaching healthy minerals from your bones, teeth, muscles, organs, and tissue. What about bottled water? Bottled water, usually in cheap plastic. Cheap plastic is usually used for most brands. There's a risk of contamination with cancer-causing chemicals like trihalomethanes. 14 brands of bottled water were recalled for an E. coli scare. There are no regulations on bottled water. There are no regulations on bottled water, guys. Most bottled water is just tap water or worse yet, RO water. Most bottled water is acidic. I just showed you that in that last test. If it's not acidic, usually they use baking soda to raise the pH, which is a big wink, wink psych out, right? Bottled water that sits in hot trucks or warehouses can release dioxins, which are toxic and may cause cancer. In 2008, Tests conducted on leading bottled water brands by an environmental advocacy group found 38 chemicals in 10 of the brands. I guarantee you, you've been drinking at some point one of those 10 brands. So guys, is bottled water any safer? Once again, absolutely no. 
In a recent German study, over 24,500 chemicals were found lurking in bottled water. Scientists found two classes of chemicals, malleates and fumarates, which are known to be endocrine disruptors. Malleates and fumarates are used to make nearly all plastic bottles and plastic food containers. They got you focused on BPA, right? How many of you have heard of BPA free? And, and you, you've been thinking, you know, you go in, is it BPA free? Okay, I'll take it. They, they, they got you over here. It's like magic. They, 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 it's like misdirection, right? They look over there and this disappears. So they, they put it out there. You think you discovered BPA, but they put it out there for you because they, the malleates, the fume rate, they can't make these bottles without it. So while they got you over here looking for BPA and you think you're asking all the right questions, guess what? It's a huge eye-opening study, guys. NRDC tested more than 1,000 bottles and 103 brands of water using three independent labs. About one-third of the bottled waters contain significant contamination levels, chemical and bacterial contaminants. Nearly one-quarter of all the waters tested violated strict California limits for bottled water, most commonly for arsenic and cancer-causing man-made compounds. Guys, there's arsenic, and people are paying for it. If I walked up, you know, I was like, hey, you got a bottle of water with some arsenic in it. How much you give me? Like nothing, right? But people are all paying for it. It's a billion, 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 billions, billions of dollars. People buying this stuff and drinking it up like they're doing something right. They lug it in their house. Hey, kids, got some bottled water. Don't drink the tap water. Drink this. Guys, it's misdirection. Here's some final facts about bottled water. Most bottled water is tap water or RO or R -O water. It's dead, it's acidic, it's highly oxidative. Many people who drink bottled water do not feel energized and are not fully hydrated. Bottled water purchases from stores has been stored for one to 12 months in often extremely hot warehouses. And most bottled water, you guessed it, has fluoride in it. Here's a couple more takeaways, we'll move on. The New York Times compiled millions of records and reported as many as 19 million Americans become ill each year due to parasites, viruses, and bacteria from, guess what? You guessed it, drinking tap water. Most bottled water in the U.S. comes from tap water. Put the puzzle together, guys. Therefore, your chances of drinking water for sickness increases when you use tap or bottled water. So we've covered tap and bottled water, but what about those popular pitchers? I know some of you got them sitting right in your fridge right now. I got a Brita pitcher. Well, guess what, guys? Most of these filters only remove about 5%, 5 to 15% of a few toxins. Watch out for their language. Very vague. Reduces or taste better, right? Oh, it reduces. Reduces by how much, right? They often almost always neglect to provide actual percentages. Now, if you look at this, this is a Brita from the Brita website. Look to the right. It says ion exchange resin. It says it captures mercury, copper, and cadmium. Look to the right. It says it reduces the taste and odor of chlorine. They just made it so you can't taste it anymore, smell it. Guys, it's astounding what they can get away with. What about Zero Water? There's a good one. I see this on TV all the time. This is from Zero Water's website. It says Zero Water removes 99% of all total dissolved solids. Oh, look at this. Zero, right, guys? It's all zeros on my TDS. Do you even know what TDS is? I didn't know what TDS was. TDS is all the good stuff most times. It's the minerals, the salts. Sometimes it's other stuff like metals and things like that. But, guys, they're taking all the good stuff out, too. All zeros, but they don't tell you well what they're taking out. They just tell you TDS. Taking a lot of the good stuff out, leaving a lot of the bad stuff in. That's why the reviews look like this. Zero Waters reviews, 2.8. Consumer Affairs has Brita reviews at a one, one and a half stars. Uh, Consumer Affairs has pure overall satisfaction rating at one and three quarter stars. I feel like I'm doing star search. Anyway, you get the idea. So clearly drinking, bathing, or washing with tap water, bottled water, or many in-home filtered waters is dangerous. Why? Because it's water for sickness. Most people believe that EPA is watching out for us. Oh, they, I, listen, you had, you're crazy. The, the government wouldn't do that. The EPA is there to watch the government. No, the EPA is the government. And they never, people never suspect that their water is aggravating, aggravating or even causing sickness. Why? Because many symptoms and problems gradually appear over years and decades. Just a little bit at a time. It's not like it like hits you all at once. Just feel worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it becomes your tight pair of shoes. Then one day, when a family member or someone you care about develops a serious health disease or sickness, they assume it's, oh, it's a shame. It's genetics. 
just a part, handed down, or just a part of the group. It's a part. What do you expect? He's getting old. Guys, it's a puzzle. Got all the pieces. Just got to put it together. There's a very clear picture there. So ask yourself this final question. Am I or anyone in my family or anyone I care about drinking, brewing coffee, bathing, showering, brushing their teeth, cleaning their food, fruits and vegetables, whatever it might be, or washing their hands or showering, whatever, in water for sickness? That's the question. We're going to get the secret three here in just a moment. That's the big one. But remember when I told you that my technology was being called the greatest discovery since penicillin? Well, secret number three is going to explain why. But first, I want to point out that the discovery of penicillin was actually what we call a medical revolution. These don't happen very often, guys. Major revolutions in health and medicine only occur maybe once in our lifetime. When was the last major revolution? Anybody know? It was penicillin, and then what was the next one? After penicillin, what was the next major health revolution? It was about a little less than little more than 20 years after penicillin. So penicillin was 1928. In 1953, this happened. There it is, DNA. Two researchers produced double helix model and won the Nobel Prize. Do you think DNA had an effect on us at all? Game changer, guys. That's two in the last how many years? These things don't happen often, but I'm telling you, what I'm showing you today is the next one. I firmly believe that what I'm about to reveal is the foundation for the next major medical revolution. And there it is. Hydrogen, guys. But not just any hydrogen. I'm talking about molecular diatomic hydrogen. Now, there's nearly 2,000 worldwide licensed accredited researchers who have proved already the therapeutic benefits of hydrogen in essentially every organ of the human body. This research spans over 40 years. And by connecting the dots from early studies to more recent studies to prove it was the molecular hydrogen that had all the health benefits. Let's jump right in. Are you ready to learn about hydrogen, the most exciting discovery in medical science since 1953? Are you ready to learn why researchers and doctors around the world are so excited about this? Consider this, guys. Across the globe, there's healing springs. They've been around for thousands of years. The incurable, the chronically ill, they traveled across the world to these springs, to Japan, Mexico, India, Germany, France, to bathe and drink from these waters. And people would feel better, and the ailments would often diminish very rapidly and very mysteriously. No one could explain it. Why did it happen? Well, scientists, doctors, medical research, and other health professionals finally discovered that the healing springs around the world were actually helping chronically ill and incurable patients because of this. Secret number three the most powerful element in the world, hydrogen. Guys, this is a hydrogen atom, okay? In atomic weight, it's the lightest atom in the universe. In mass, it's the smallest atom in the universe. When delivered through my technology, the combined atomic weight of dissolved, hi dissolved hydrogen makes the lightest liquid for human consumption on Earth. A little bit sciencey, but I'll make it all work here. Now, atomic hydrogen, since single hydrogen ha atom has only H plus, it, it's just one atom, it's neutral, has unpaired electron. So it's a reactive free radical, what we call it. That's why atomic hydrogen is rare. When atomic hydrogen is produced via electrolysis, it readily reacts with another hydrogen atom to form stable molecular hydrogen, also known as H2. Now, because what's in this bottle contains the lightest and smallest atoms in the universe, molecular hydrogen will quickly hydrate nearly every cell in your body. I told you early on, I wouldn't say anything unless I could demonstrate it. But before I do, let me just tell you that the contents of that bottle has a number of advantages as a potential nutrient delivery system. You see guys, this is a look at one of your cells. Now, what you see there in the middle is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the production, the producer, it's the, the center of the cell, the heart of the cell. It produces something called ATP, adenine, tri adenine triphosphate, which essentially is the scientific name for energy. So if we can get this hydrogen into the body tissue and ATP, the production of it is more efficient. ATP is the chemical energy made by the mitochondrion called adenine triphosphate, like I said, or ATP. It's the energy currency that delivers every cell in your body that what it needs to, to just work and move and live every single day. It's what keeps us alive, essentially. All right, so what I have is some tea bags. And all I'm going to do 
is take some tap water. We'll take some of what's in this bottle here, some of the mystery beverage. All right, now all we're gonna do is take two same tea bags, got our mystery beverage here, and got our tap water over here. I'm just gonna have a little race. I want you to think of these tea bags as your cells. Think of the inside here is the mitochondrion. And let's see how well water can penetrate. Ready? Same time. See if you can see what happens here. See what's happening there, guys? The mystery beverage penetrates the cell a lot easier. And I can just go on and just keep on making tea here. This time you saw a tea bag do that. It's not a magic tea bag either. Take some tap water. Right? Same thing with this one. This is no different. Take this tea bag, bring it over here. There you go, guys. That's how small and light hydrogen is and how fast it can penetrate. I could probably make 32 cups of tea with this. But again, tap water, not so much. So that's a good example and a good indication of how small and light hydrogen is. But more importantly, how it actually hydrates you. It actually penetrates its way through the cells and into the mitochondria, which is where all the magic happens. Hopefully that made some sense for you there. Now, <clears throat> molecular hydrogen is H2. Um, it's been tied to all kinds of things, guys. There's something called hydrogen therapy. and uh, been great for influenza, pneumonia, cardiovascular disease, um, diabetes, Alzheimer's. I mean, the list goes on, guys. There's so many things that hydrogen therapy is used for now as they're figuring this all out. There's over 600 peer-reviewed uh, articles that demonstrate that hydrogen has therapeutic potential in essentially every organ of the human body and in 150 different disease models. That's from Tyler LeBaron, director of the Molecular Hydrogen Foundation. Guys, what I have here is some of the, when I, when I put this together, there was only 500 clinical studies. In the last couple of months, that's doubled over 1,000 clinical studies now. But take a little cruise through them. I'm going to let them go by fast because it's going to take a while. But this is, these studies you see here have studies for every organ in the human body. Hydrogen H2 is showing a positive effect on every organ in the human body. It's astounding, guys. It's just going and going and going and going. Now, what I want to do is I want to see, again, guys, we want to try to get, I invited, I invited Tyler LeBaron, the uh, director of the Molecular Hydrogen Foundation, to come on with us here. Again, we're live, so hopefully this all goes well. But I'm going to try to get Tyler uh, on here and let him explain to you. It, nobody knows this stuff better, but let him explain to you why hydrogen H2 gas is so important. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get him here. All right, look, we're going to jump right in. So, Tyler, I want you to help us understand the history of hydrogen and really why we should care about it for all the people listening. Sure, absolutely. And really, that's why I, uh, we, we have this Molecular Hydrogen Foundation. It's, it's a science-based nonprofit, and it's focused on advancing the research, education, and awareness of hydrogen as a therapeutic medical gas. So in answer to your question, that is why hydrogen is, has so much buzz or so much hype around it is because it's been shown to be therapeutic, actually has some medical benefits. Uh, some, some interesting hype about hydrogen uh, actually, the Japanese government recently approved hydrogen inhalation for post-cardiac arrest patients. And what they, because normally what happens, they have like a heart attack. People are going to, they can restart the heart. They can resuscitate the heart. But when the blood starts going back through, it causes a, a reperfusion damage. All the oxygen and things get to the cells. And it can cause a lot of damage and people end up dying or getting brain damage and things later on. So before they would actually do hypothermia, cool the bodies down, but now they're finding that just inhalation of small amounts of hydrogen gas below the flammability level, so below 4.6%, is just as effective as this hypothermia. And that's just one of the ways that people can 
use this hydrogen gas, but they've also found you can take the hydrogen gas and dissolve it into water, and then you drink right. water. So instead of your, your carbonated soda or carbonated water with the CO2 gas dissolved in it, you can have water that has hydrogen gas dissolved in it. I think probably the biggest few reasons why hydrogen is, is in the press, I mean, I, you know, it's just in the Huffington Post, it's been on Fox, it's been on a number of other news media, but it's... Some of the reasons why is because, number one, hydrogen is able to help with some of the biggest diseases that we're facing. The, the, the disease of inflammation, the disease of aging, like arthritis and Alzheimer's disease, the neurological impairments and dysfunction. This is where hydrogen is able to show in a lot of benefits, both in animal and clinical human studies. But secondly, the safety profile of hydrogen is very high. So... But the first thing when we look at medicine or things in general is do no harm. We don't want to take something that, although maybe it will help us with this disease, actually causes something even worse, right? And when it comes to hygiene, hygiene is very safe. It's very natural. In fact, it's one of the most natural uh, substances there are because every time we, we eat uh, non-digestible carbohydrates or fibers, right, our fruits and vegetables, our intestinal bacteria actually produce small amounts of hydrogen gas which again accounts for some of the therapeutic benefits of our fiber. So we're always exposed to hydrogen gas at some form, small levels all the time. And by simply taking a little bit more through inhalation or through ingestion of hydrogen rich water, we're able to get these benefits that we're seeing in these studies. I'll tell you, Tyler, nobody explains this stuff like you do, but I, I gotta ask you, you talk often about like the uh, blood brain barrier and the effects of H2 on the mitochondria. And I think that's a little bit of a mystery for some of the people watching. Can you just jump Sure, absolutely. So first? blood brain barrier, uh, the f first, the brain is very important uh, and we need to protect the brain and we need to do all we can to protect the brain. And the body has a barrier there. It prevents other toxic ingredients or chemicals and, and even many pharmaceutical drugs from entering into the brain because it, if it does get to the brain, that can cause a lot of damage, right? And that's one of the biggest reasons why it's so difficult to treat neurological disorders from Alzheimer's, cognitive impairments, Parkinson's, autism, so many different diseases of the brain, very hard to treat because it's hard to get the drugs to get through that blood-brain barrier. Well, hydrogen is very unique because it can easily pass through the blood-brain barrier. And the reason why is because, well, there's three reasons why. One of them is that hydrogen is so small. It's the smallest molecule in the universe. That's why you can't take hydrogen and put it in, say, plastic bottles. It'll just dissipate out. Even though you can keep CO2 gas in, like, carbonated water, the CO2 will stay in there in plastic bottles. But hydrogen gas is, is so small that it'll just diffuse right through that. And that helps to speak to its cellular bioavailability. It can go right through the blood-brain barrier. Also because it's a neutral molecule. Molecules that are neutral or non-ionic, they can enter into the cell or through the, through the blood-brain barrier easier than charged particles or charged molecules mm -hmm. or ions can. So hydrogen is small. It's neutral. It's slightly hydrophobic. In other words, it's kind of uh, soluble in, in fat. And a lot of the blood-brain barrier and cell membranes are made out of lipids or fat so it can diffuse into there. So that's gonna allow the hydrogen to actually get into the brain and exert a lot of the therapeutic benefits that we're seeing in animal studies and again, the clinical human studies. And then you mentioned the mitochondria, same thing. Now mitochondria, remember, this is the powerhouse of the cell. This is what produces the ATP, the energy currency of the cell, adenosine triphosphate. And ATP gives us you know, all the energy for normal functioning, for thinking, for walking, for running, for moving, everything comes from and is derived from ATP. And if we don't have enough ATP, we're going to get diseases as well as fatigue and on and on. So the mitochondria is critical in producing this ATP. And the mitochondria, though, can get damaged by free radicals or from toxins or from the environment and many other things. And the hydrogen is able to protect the mitochondria because the hydrogen not only can get inside of the cell really easily for the same reasons that we explained about the right. blood-brain barrier, but it can go into the mitochondria of the cell. So it's going to yeah. go through the cell membrane, through the cytosol, and then into the subcellular compartments like the mitochondria, protect the mitochondria, and improve it so it can make more of this ATP, this energy of our cells. And actually, 
it, it actually can stimulate PGC1 alpha, which is a marker of mitochondrial biogenesis. In other words, hydrogen may be able to actually increase the amount of mitochondria in our cells, so our overall ATP production is higher and thus preventing the fatigue and the diseases and different things like this. Again, Tyler, fascinating stuff. Uh, now I know why you're the guy they call all over the place. You're, you're always in, you're, it's like your schedule's like tripled now. You can't get a hold of you anymore. You used to be able to get a hold of you. Now you're like the guy in demand. Uh, I know you're always back and forth in Japan, all over Asia. I know you're speaking at Harvard in the fall. They asked you to come there and speak on this topic because a lot of the doctors from Harvard are starting to catch on. Really fascinating stuff. But even though it's so fascinating, I want to know if you can tell me why it's not that popular yet. And, and really, I guess, where do you see it going? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I would have to argue with you a little bit. I think that it is exponentially growing faster. I don't think it's taking a slow time at all. And, and that's if you compare hydrogen to other things. The, the other other new breakthroughs that come came about. I mean, look at the microwave. I mean, that came out. It's a breakthrough, but I mean, people are kind of like, I'm never going to use that. It took it took time to get everyone to use it, and now hydrogen it's growing at a rapid rate, both from the scientific community, the biomedical research, the top scientific journals that are publishing articles on this, the research groups that are doing research, and then the major news media and press that's coming about it, and the the improvements and the the regulations and all the things you know that are happening in Asia, mm -hmm. I think it's growing quite fast. Yes, we have a long ways to go, but there's seven billion people in the world, so that is a lot of people to educate. Okay, all right. So, you know, you've told me before in the past that there's there's multiple ways to get H two to get hydrogen gas, right? You, you can use uh, eye droppers, um, you can inhale it. Um, I know that you can take a bath in it, right? And also, obviously, you can put it into a beverage. And since you've been studying this uh, for so long, and, 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 and I guess all across the country, can you tell me what the most logical, practical way, practical way to get hydrogen? Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on your circumstance. If you're in a coma, it's difficult to drink hydrogen water. So maybe for that case, an intravenous saline or uh, inhalation, for example, would work. But you know, for most people, just simply drinking hydrogen water is a great way. And that's why a lot of the scientific studies are focused on the water because it's so easy to do. And the animal and, again, the clinical human studies are showing that that is an effective way of getting the hydrogen. So, it's, I mean, everybody drinks water, so why not just take the water that has the molecular hydrogen, the hydrogen gas in there? Now, people say all water has hydrogen. It's H2O, right? All water is H2O. There's hydrogen there. So what's the difference? Yeah, very, very big difference. Uh, if you look at the water molecule, if you look at the structure, the water molecule kind of looks like Mickey Mouse, right? It has the oxygen and the hydrogens that are connected. They're bound to that oxygen, right? We can't use that hydrogen. It's like we breathe oxygen, right? That's why we're breathing the air. Well, how come you can't just breathe water? Water has oxygen in it. It's because the oxygen is bound up to the hydrogens. So what we're talking about is a hydrogen gas, the hydrogen gas that is simply dissolves or bubbled into the water. And then that doesn't connect or, or bind to the water. It doesn't change the chemical structure. It doesn't do anything like that. It's just hydrogen gas. Water is the medium, is the carrier for the hydrogen gas. So you just bubble hydrogen gas in there. You're able to drink it. Then the hydrogen gas diffuses throughout the body and, and gives those benefits that we discussed. Okay. Is it fair to say that we're seeing positive effects on every major organ in the body, is that fair? Yeah, you know, actually, when you put it that way, it, that's true. When you look at the brain, when you look at the, uh, the, or the, the, the liver, the stomach, the intestines, the heart, the, the kidneys, all these organs, pretty much hydrogen has effect on virtually every single one of them. And in about in over 170 different human and animal disease models have been used to study the effects of hydrogen and hydrogen is showing a beneficial effect on that also. And, and let me just point out, that can be kind of a, a red flag. It's like this panacea for every disease or thing out there. And it's like, well, I can't do that. Well, the reason why is because hydrogen, it doesn't have just one direct target or one direct action. It's going to work for one direct organ on one specific mechanism. It really helps to uh, mitigate and attenuate excessive inflammation and excessive uh, oxidative damage. And as you know, pretty much every disease has those root causes of too much inflammation and too much oxidative stress. 
So if you were to help reduce the amount of oxidative stress and help reduce the amount of inflammation, you're pretty much going to help all the different diseases out there. All right, Tyler, last question. I got to move on. We're kind of pressed for time here. If you were stuck on an island somewhere and you could only bring one thing with you for therapeutic reasons, what would that be and why? Crazy. Question. One thing was for therapeutic reasons. Well, I mean, maybe I'm biased, but I, I guess I would say hydrogen at this point. And, and, and I guess the reason why is because initially we're not sick and hydrogen is good for sick people and healthy people. It's not toxic, so we don't have to worry about hurting ourselves by taking it, but it's, it's a great way of prevention or preconditioning. Uh, so it just it seems to make sense, something very natural, something that's, you know, we look back in the very beginning of time, hydrogen was present, and there just seems to be something special about that. All right, Tyler, thank you so much for that. I got to run. I got to cut you loose. I'll call you later on let you know what's up. We got to move because we're, we're pressed for time here. But that was Tyler LeBaron, guys. How smart is that guy, right? Craziness. So hopefully you got some stuff from that. He understands it better than anyone. And it's really intriguing to me. Hopefully it's some stuff that you didn't know about and you learned something there. I hope, I hope you did. So how else can you get molecular hydrogen? Well, you can uh, carry a big tank around with you and you can breathe it. You can take a bath in it for hours and hours and hours a day to get any therapeutic level of it. Or you can put eye drops in your eye, thousands of eye drops in your eye every day to get any kind of anywhere near therapeutic levels. But what is molecular hydrogen really? Well, it's an antioxidant, right? It's an anti-inflammatory, and it's anti-aging. So we got to talk about oxidation for a second. And once you understand oxidation, you'll better understand uh, kind of why it's important to stay away from it, right? Free radicals cause oxidation. Oxidation is what makes an apple turn brown. It's what makes nails rust. If you look at the bottom right there. You see a normal cell. Then you see a, a cell attacked by free radicals. Then you see a cell with oxidative stress, which is what free radicals lead to. So it's very important that we avoid oxidation at all costs. Hydrogen is really good at protecting you from that. There's something called ORP or oxidation reduction potential. ORP is the measure, measurement of how much something can reduce the oxygen. Oxygen reduction potential. Say it backwards. The potential to reduce oxidation or oxygen because oxygen causes oxidation. So I want to show you another quick demo here. I got a little cleanup to do, but we'll jump right in. Let's pop these in the sink. And what I have here, guys, is called an ORP meter. ORP um, is oxidation reduction potential. ORP, this meter measures if something's oxidizing or if it's an antioxidant. So this will tell us hydrogen is one of the strongest antioxidants in the world. So this will tell us if a beverage is oxidizing or if it's an antioxidant. We'll do one more here. Move that over. So we'll do a little Aquafina. So we got tap water, <clears throat> Aquafina, and our mystery beverage. Start over here. Now, if it's a positive number, that means it's oxidizing. If it's a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant. So you can see there, you're getting a, a positive 300. That means that this water is having an oxidizing effect on your cell, okay? Let's check bottled water. Try to get a better grip on this here. So you can see it. Next one, Aquafina. So positive 332, 335. Again, guys, oxidizing. Now watch what happens when we go into our mystery beverage. Look for the little negative sign to pop up. That just jumped out. You're looking for that little negative sign. You can see it. This is going all the way down to a negative 417. You guys see that? That little negative sign. So this went all the way from a positive 300 to a negative 415. That would keep going if we kept it in there. But that's just to prove that what's in this bottle has an antioxidant effect, not an oxidizing effect. So that was our ORP test. Keep moving on here, guys. Got a couple more. Now, 
That was the ORP test. That's the ORP meter. Negative ORP represents the presence of hydrogen, which is a major antioxidant, which we just talked about. And it's recognized by these guys. Do you guys recognize these guys at all? You got Dr. Oz and Dr. Wheel. Antioxidants support kidney function. Uh, they maintain uh, good dental health, anti-aging effect. They protect the liver. They support respiratory system. This is all from these two doctors of what antioxidants do. And again, hydrogen is the smallest and most effective antioxidant in the world. Quick recap. We're in the middle of a crisis, guys. Contaminants are rampant in our water. Health issues are growing every day. And the government is hiding secrets from us. That's a quick recap of what we just covered. But what if there was an antidote that could uh, just fix everything at the drop of a hat? Would you accept the invitation? Think about that for a second. Would you accept the invitation? No pills, no gimmicks, no hassle, right? Now, before I tell you exactly what my product is, I need to remind you what it isn't. So there's no false expectations. It's not a drug. It's not a program. It's not a, a uh, cleanse, like a juice or something else like that. It requires no change in your daily routine. It's not unproven because there's over 500 clinical uh, studies to prove that it works. Furthermore, I think you've been deceived enough by those high paid marketers and those sleazy ads, right? This is the bona fide real deal, guys. Now, what makes my technology truly unique is that's the direct result of over 50 years of study and a decade of my life digging through the trenches to find what really works. Those endless hours of research and study uncovered unique and often profound methods used by those in the know to achieve great wellness. And now starting today, their success can be your success. Listen guys, I gotta be totally honest with you so there's nothing left to chance. If you're one of those people that's looking for a quick fix fad that will have you feeling great in a short time, but only for a short time, this isn't for you. Something you already know that will never ever work in the long run, this is definitely not for you if that's what you're looking for. This is for men and women who are ready to stop looking for fads and gimmicks and start ensuring long-term health perfection for themselves and their family. So if you're wanting the real answer to health perfection and family protection, here's what you and, well, here's what you and your family should expect this technology to deliver. I was gonna say just you, but really it's about you and your family. We're talking about genuine energy and pep. Now, what do I mean by genuine energy? Fake energy is the kind you get from energy drinks and caffeine, other artificial stimulants, right? You get the jitters, you crash, anxiety, insomnia, irritability, all those things. Uh, genuine energy, however, no crash because it's natural, right? Pure alertness, higher focus, better blood flow. You sleep better. You're not anxious or nervous. Natural minerals and electrolytes, right? All the good stuff. You can expect to start living and feeling great, to accomplish more in one day. No slump. Keep up with your kids. Run that marathon. Whatever it is, mental clarity, whatever you're looking for, guys. If you're ready to feel your best each day with immune support, this is also for you. Dr. Chris says, since introducing this to my patients, we've had less cases of allergies, colds, and have noticed increased energy levels. Pretty amazing. You can expect being able to do more when your joints feel great and you have more energy and bone strength. Take your dog for a walk. Go for a leisurely stroll. Look at how simple a 20-minute walk can stimulate your brain on the bottom right there. So you're ready to lose weight? This product has changed my life forever. I lost 17 pounds in 18 days, and I feel energized and amazing. That's from Jeanette in Indianapolis. Look at the difference before and after. If you're an athlete, you can get an edge that no one else can duplicate. Boost your athletic performance in a variety of ways. Increase the energy, the ATP production, faster recovery. Decrease the free radicals. With this, my recovery time is much faster and my energy levels have noticeably increased. That's TJ Ward, guys. Professional safety for the Denver Bronco, Broncos in the NFL. Now, maybe the things I just ran through don't appeal to you, but everyone has some kind of a wish list. Where do you see yourself? What do you want to be able to do? All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to finally find out what's in the bottle and what my technology that creates actually is what, what my text that creates what's in the bottle actually is. Well, here is the medical device that I was telling you about. And this is how the mystery beverage was created. 
The contents of this bottle is alkaline, ionized, hydrogen-rich water, and there's nothing like it on the planet. What you're looking at is a water ionizer. There's an under, uh, under counter model and a countertop model. My company's called Tiant USA, and you're looking at a revolutionary technology that's guaranteed to change everything for you. We've been changing things for people for almost 15 years, guys. And I'm confident we can do the same for you. But I have a few more things I want to show you tonight. Touchable button, guys. You got concierge service on these things. Uh, you got dual filtration on these things. Um, you, the, the, the feature list, which I think we'll pull up here in a little while, will blow your mind. But this was just kind of a, a, a showcase of, of what it looks like. That's the countertop model. And the other one you saw was the under counter model, which I'm going to show you more about. Just for There's the under counter model. Kind of hides things away a little bit more. But that is what created the mystery beverage. Tiant USA water ionizer. It creates water for wellness. Now, guys, the way it works is through an ionization process, electrolysis. Inside the machine, it's a computer, and it creates water by design. There's platinum-coated titanium medical-grade plates in there, and we've got water cells with 11 plates that separates the water into alkaline and acidic. This is how we're able to get all that hydrogen in the water and give you that pure alkaline water. It's an amazing revolutionary technology. And it's a game changer. This, Asian, this is the Asian secret that was created for people just like us, everyday men and women who don't want to suffer any longer. This amazing product has over, I'm sorry, over 1,000 clinical studies now behind some of the most debilitating degenerative disease, degenerative disease cures and fixes and ailment fixes anywhere. Now, we have pages of testimonials from people just like you. And it's one product that you can protect your family and your, the family, uh, your family and the health of your family simply by pressing a button. Drinking Thai water helps restore the essential minerals that our body craves. This will help protect your bones, your teeth, and your heart. Perhaps the most important difference is the concentration of hydrogen gas, also known as H2. That's where all the magic really happens, guys. There's 8 million times more H2 in this water than any other water source. 8 million times. Because the high levels of H2, tiant water supports reversing many common ailments. Remember the dying fish and, and, and uh, the cells I showed you? Well, you can bring them back to life. Drinking water, not your fish, but your cells. Drinking tiant water can produce a dramatic effect on cellular repair, allowing the body to heal itself. Tiant water is the key to unlocking the doors of our cells. Now, as amazing as these claims I'm making are, we've maintained an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau for almost 15 years. Guys, this is not an MLM company. We're a direct-to-consumer business with stellar ratings for all of our products. We go out of our way to make sure that our customers are happy. Tiant has received numerous awards, certification, and documented recognition. Tyne has some of the uh, most certifications and accreditations in the entire industry. We have more leading doctors that are recommending Tyne ionized water than any other water. Dr. William Kelly says it's the most advancement in healthcare since penicillin. Dr. Lori Shemek says Tyne alkaline water can help you lose weight by battling fat flammation. Dr. Ben Johnson says alkaline antioxidant water is probably the most profound discovery of our time. The list goes on, guys. Dr. Joe Fawcett says Tyne machine performs far above anything else that's out there. Dr. Rob Tonella says, what I found to be more, most effective is the alkalized, ener energized ionic water that is created by a tie machine. Dr. Alvin Stein says, he, by the way, he's the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award. He says, the beauty of tie water is that it penetrates into the cells and hydrates the cells at the cellular level. tie is the official water ionizer for the Oasis of Hope Cancer Treatment Center. Over 100,000 patients treated since 1963. They've been around for over 50 years. They say we're happy with the water quality taste and the ORP rating. That's the antioxidant rating that Tyant Water provides to our, our cancer patients. Tyant has testimonials from all over the world. Even pets and animals love Tyant Water. When you try your Tyant, you're going to be thrilled, guys. Just imagine what your life will be like and how it's going to improve when you take action starting today. What do you think the first benefit that you and your family will notice when all the health-giving molecular hydrogen is flowing through your cells? One of our customers' favorite things to do is have all the family sit around and compare notes after drinking this water on how much better they feel and exactly what's improving. So who is this product for? 
People who can't get around like they used to and want to be more active. Athletes who are at the pinnacle of health and fitness, but they need the extra edge. Those who have had some weight loss success, but need that extra boost to help flush their fat cells in order to reach their ideal weight. People who have something ailing them and are tired of uh, it affecting their life. And people who have a family and a high interest in protecting their health. Guys, we're not just talking about your drinking water. A tie water ionizer does so much, much, much more than just make drinking water. So much, in fact, we had to write a 20-page book about it. There's over 75 practical money-saving, health-giving uses in this guide. Let's take a quick break right now. And I'm going to put my chef's hat on, not really. But I'm going to show you some of the other amazing uses of tie water. I think you're really going to like this. This isn't something I do, so I'm going to try my best here. But I'm going to show you some of the uses. I'm going to give you some health tips, do some demonstrations and things like that. Let's see how it goes here, guys. All right, we're going to change it up. So what I'm going to do, which I don't do very often, but I do do it a lot more with my daughter now. Just going to clean up a little bit here, move our ORP meter. Definitely don't want this stuff sitting around. And what I'm going to try to do right now is I'm going to try to make a salad. Keyword is try. Um, what I'm going to do first is get some lettuce, which is right here. Now, guys, I already took the liberty to, to wash all these vegetables. The, the one thing I want to tell you about is you may think that you're already washing your vegetables with tap water, but you're not. And I want to show you what I'm talking about right there with this. All the vegetables I'm going to use that I didn't take, that I already took out of the package and stuff are already clean just for time's sake. I just want to show you a quick demonstration here. I'm just going to take some tomatoes, just a few. I like to get them right off the vine. They seem to be the freshest. We're just going to take a few, about three in each cup here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our tie it water. We're just going to let these tomatoes soak. This is going to be really cool, guys. Wait to see what happens. We're going to take some tap water here and we'll let these tomatoes soak. So remember, the one over here by the faucet is the tap and this one is our tie it water. And I'm going to come back and show you why you may think you've been washing your vegetables. You may think you've been getting all the herbicides, pesticides, insecticides off of them, but you haven't been, which I'm going to prove to you. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up. I'm going to shred some lettuce here. Um, this is the way I do it. Maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. This is the way I like to do it. Again, guys, you want to make sure you have really good knives. They make all the difference. I'm going to shred some let lettuce here. I'm not going to make the entire salad just for time's sake. But, again, guys, one of the things that I stopped doing is I stopped uh, serving my family vegetables for a while because I started to learn about the pesticides and herbicides and insecticides and how they're on there and how, uh, you know, really devastating they can be. Same thing with chlorine. After I show you the tomatoes, I'm going to show you the chlorine. We're just going to take some of the shredded lettuce and put it in the bottom of the bowl here. It's probably a little too much. And I'm going to come back over here just to show you guys what I was talking about with the vegetables. Guys, here's the tomatoes that we're soaking in the tie water. Here's the tomatoes that we're soaking in the tap water. This is going to really blow your mind, but watch what happens. Now, again, we've got tomatoes soaking in tap water. And here's what happens when we, when we dump out the water. Clear water, right? Perfect. But watch this. Look at the difference, guys. That water is yellow. Now, do you know what you're actually looking at there? In this glass, what you're looking at is a glass of herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides. What you're looking at here is a glass of water. Guess where all the herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides are from these tomatoes? They're still on the tomatoes. Here's why. Pesticides and herbicides are all oil-based, guys. Alkaline water can break down oils, which means it can actually clean the vegetables. So if you think you're cleaning your vegetables, I don't care if you're sitting there scrubbing them all day long with tap water or bottled water, whatever you, whatever you think it is. If you don't have alkaline water, you're not actually cleaning your vegetables. And guys, in the end, what you're trying to come up with, if, you have, if, you, if you're not in a, a hurry like I am, and I, you could do this whole thing in probably about 10 minutes, but that's what you're trying to get. So let's move on and go to the next step here, which is 
the ionizers, right? And I don't know, you know, what you think it would cost at this point. But when I was drinking from one, it was a huge, huge cost, over $15,000. And that's why only the VIP celebrities and athletes were privy to this technology in the USA. But I've taken this amazing technology and I've revolutionized it. So you get to pick between an above counter or an under counter. Now, either one of these beautiful machines do not cost $15,000. I have a really, really special offer for you tonight. Before I tell you the offer, I want to let you know what you're actually going to be getting with this very special, limited, and very exclusive offer. I'm just going to come back around the counter so I can talk to you here for a second. So again, before I tell you what it costs, let me tell you what you're going to get. All right. Well, you're going to get a tie water ionizer. It's a $49.95 value. Okay, guys? You're also going to get a free ultra filter upgrade. Now that's a big deal because our ultra filters have an advanced 0.1 micron filtration, provides four times cleaner tie water than the original filters. Okay, it's, it's literally the best water ionizer filtration in the world. It removes over 200 contaminants. It's been tested and proven by a third party EPA, third party EPA certified lab. All right, 99.9% uh, .9 reduction of chemicals, uh, all kinds of things taken out. There's a full list on our water report. Uh, you're going to get out the heavy metals, the lead, the aluminum, all those things. You'll be able to sleep like this, knowing that you and your family are protected from this. Take a look at that, guys. Tyne's dual filters reduces or remove over 200 contaminants. And we have the percentages of each one in our water report. We don't say reduces the taste or anything like that. Reduces over 200 contaminants. Tyne's ultimate lifestyle kit, you're going to get that. It's like having an alkaline water Bible. This special kit includes all you need to succeed for better health using Tyne's antioxidant-rich water. You got 75 unique uses. Um, everything that you need to know how to use it and what you can get at it is all in this guide. Um, I have the guide here. I'll just kind of look through it a little bit, but it's just loaded with all kinds of uses and tips for every part of the day, afternoon, morning, all the things you can do with it to improve your life, guys. It's all in the guide. The other thing we have, is uh, we're going to get that. That's $59 value. So you're going to get the water ionizer, the ultra filters, the ultimate lifestyle kit. That's a $5,183 value. Titan normally comes with a five-year warranty. We're going to give you a lifetime warranty. No stipulations, lifetime, 100% guaranteed, lifetime warranty. That's a $1,250 value. I'm giving you that as well. So you're going to get the water ionizer, the ultra filtration, the lifestyle kit, the warranty with no fine print, $6,433 value, but I'm also going to give you a shower filter. This is a proprietary technology and make sure that you know you're not showering, your family's not showering in chlorine, right? This thing lasts for six months or more. Um, it's got a unique dial -a date feature, so you know when it's time to change it. And it, it's what's called Chlorigon filter media, which is proprietary and patented. It's going to remove chlorine, dirt, sediment, iron oxide. It's got the, the Water Quality Association's gold seal because of how good it is. So you get the water ionizer, the ultra filtration, the lifestyle kit, the lifetime warranty, the poison removing shower filter. That's a $6,482 value. Now, guys, you're not going to pay $6,482. I told you I was going to do something exclusive, very, very special just for you just now. And you can protect your family today. It's over 45% off for $34.95. Now, guys, how do you know if that's a good deal, right? What's the price of health? What's it really worth? How do you figure that out? Is it worth a million dollars? Is it worth $10,000? It really depends on who you ask. If you ask somebody who's sick and in the hospital, they'll put a higher price on it. Someone that feels great, oh, I'm fine. But guys, there's really no way to put a number on that. But if all this did was protect your family from toxins, poisons, pesticides, chemicals, and bacteria, would it be worth it? If all it did was protect your family from 150 diseases, would it be worth it? If all it did was flood your bodies, cells, and organs with health-giving molecular hydrogen, would it be worth it? You have to ask yourself that. But can tie ironers actually save you money? First, based on your initial purchase, replacing filters and tap and, and your tap water bill, it only costs about five to six cents a glass for the first five years. After that's about one to two cents a glass. Second, the average American family of four can save two thousand dollars per year by replacing bottled water and many other home supplies that we can replace with the uses guide. But you're also going to get 
our arsenic and fluoride removing two bag filter. Guys, remember we talked about the little Brita filters? You only fit so much media in any filter. So to make sure you're getting rid of all the fluoride and the arsenic, we're gonna give you this two stage filter that reduces up to 99% of fluoride and arsenic. And also stage two reduces 99% of lead, mercury, nickel, iron, and manganese. All right, that's a $49 value. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's a $250 value. So you're gonna get the Tiant Water Ionizer, the Ultra Filtration, Tiant's Ultimate Lifestyle Kit, the Tiant Lifetime Warranty, the Tiant Poison Removing Shower Filter. You're also gonna get the Arsenic and Fluoride Removing Two Bank Pre Filter, $6,732 value. Today, it's over 50% off, $34.95. If you didn't do this immediately today, it's because there's one of three things going on. Number one, you don't have the money. Number two, you don't believe what I'm telling you. And number three, you don't want to maximize and protect the health of your family. The biological effects of H2 have been confirmed. There's more than a thousand different clinical studies and over a hundred different disease models. Molecular hydrogen and tie ionized alkaline water is known to be an effective antioxidant, neutralizing these free radicals and preventing and reducing the damage. Moreover, H2 shows not only it supports fighting against oxidative stress, but also various anti-inflammatory and anti-allergen effects. Now, somehow, some way, some of you might be still on the fence. The only reason I can think of is because you like to do some shopping first. Anytime I buy something, I like to shop online. So what I'm going to ask Dave to do is go online right now and do some shopping like you would, and let's just get it over with. Here's what you're looking at, guys. You're looking at Amazon.com. First of all, notice the five-star rating. 340 some reviews, all five stars. The price tag at the bottom says $34.95, but guess what that includes? Nothing, nothing you're getting is included in that price. All those bonuses are free. This thing normally sells for $49.95. It's on sale, but you're not getting any of the bonuses. There's the ACE model. Again, look at the reviews, guys, all five stars. Price, $34.95. You know what you get with it? Nothing, absolutely nothing, okay? Very special offer. Where else would I go if I was shopping? I'd check out the company's BBB ready. There it is, we're A plus rated. We're accredited by the BBB, okay? We've maintained zero complaints over the last 13 years, guys. What else would you look for? Check out um, reseller ratings. We have a nine point, whatever it is out of 10, five stars. That's where people go to complain if they don't like what we have. What else would I check out if I was looking? I would check people's Google rating, another five stars. What else might I look for if I was doing some shopping online? Maybe I'd check out Facebook. There it is, how many stars? Five stars again on Facebook, guys. The world's a small place with the internet. If we were doing something wrong, you'd know about it. Now, you have two choices. The first option is do nothing and don't take the leap of faith. Or you take the second option, make this small investment and give it a shot today. And these are the things that I've seen changed in me. I struggled with constipation, sometimes or for 30 plus years. Sometimes I'd go for two weeks with no bowel movements. And I would be miserable, sick, feeling terrible. Well, the only relief I could have was to get an enema. It was no fun. <laughs> Then I start drinking this water and I have two balloons a day without skipping. I mean, it's just wonderful and I feel so good. I had my heart with the skipping beats and flush and uh, what's it called? Fluttering. Fluttering. I don't have that anymore, not even once. And I have so much more energy. I'm 74. And I can just go all day and not get tired until around 5 o'clock. And then I feel, well, I better take a rest. <laughs> and, and I used to just feel about 7 o'clock, I start feeling sick. Like I needed to go to bed. I don't feel that anymore either. I'm just full of energy. <laughs> and... Um, our water got plugged because we had so much calcium in our water. Well, so we had to, for four days, we had to drink distilled water, which is which I've been on for most of my life. Because I thought that was the best water. <laughs> but so then in four days, I, I didn't want to get out of bed when I woke up because I was tired. 
I got up and I just felt heavy. When I got the water again, as soon as I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm out of bed. I don't want to lay there because I got too much energy to just lay around. So that was a real plus. Yes. And my fingernails and my toenails are stronger. And I've tried different kinds of calcium uh, supplements. And you know what would happen? It would land in my joints and swell and hurt. So I quit that. <laughs> and now they're getting strong with just the water. I used to get headaches. My eyes would hurt. And it was like a migraine headache about once a week. Now I get it maybe once or twice a month. So that has really improved. Just for the water. There's no other thing that's changing me. It is this water. And I clean my windows with the acid water, like you saw on the, on the picture here. And it just made it so pretty. It just, I couldn't see any streaks or anything. And I had trouble cleaning my, my windows and they leave streaks. And I didn't even have to dry it with anything. I just took a rag and sprayed it on the, the acid water and I love it. And it was clear. I didn't even have to dry it. It's just amazing. I was excited about that. Yeah. And then I had a carpet stain. And I, I tried other things to get it, get rid of it, and I couldn't. It seemed like it was working when I did it. But after it dried, there it was again. So I put this spray, this pass of water on there and scrubbed it. And never came back. Still isn't back. So I think it's a godsend. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> Are you ready to drink water for wellness? Are you ready to maximize hydration? Are you ready to improve your overall health? Are you ready to help your body age more slowly and gracefully? Are you ready to protect yourself from unhealthy water? Are you ready to save money? If so, to begin your new hydrating experience, or for more information, please visit www.edenwaterionizers.com or call us at 509-732-6242. We would love to hear from you. Buy once, buy the best, buy tie -end.